Today we're at Platinum Motor Cars in Birmingham, Michigan, and we have an absolutely mint Jeep Cherokee. It's a 1998, has 90 some thousand miles on it, and uh, it's a stick. Should have some fun in this. Beautiful, no rust, very original. Let's take it for a drive. Ninety-three thousand miles. I've driven an automatic one of these before. Who's is that? Never manual. It was my ex-girlfriend's. <laughs> but that's okay. We won't get into that in this video. I love this thing already. Oh my gosh, it, they're so good. And this is the era of Cherokees to get too. I mean, they were super reliable. They'd already been making them for ages. This thing feels brand new. It looks brand new. It looks brand new with 93,000 miles on it. It's amazing. Roll up windows. Gosh, I haven't experienced that in a while. What's cool about these is they were making them in 98 and into the early 2000s, and they still felt like they were built and made in the 80s. But they were so capable and so reliable. This might be kind of perfect spec, to be honest. Line six in these are super torquey. They sold a ton of these things back in the day, and <laughs> I remember in high school you used to take your radio out every night because one night one someone stole it. But everyone who bought these things just drove them and enjoyed them and used them, put two, three, four hundred thousand miles on them. still see a ton of them out on the road today if they haven't rusted in half. Yeah. Clutch is easy to operate. The shifter's got a super long throw to it, but it's pretty satisfying. tachometer so you kind of have to listen to it. You've got a fuel gauge instead that's about the biggest fuel gauge I think I've ever seen. <laughs> These didn't get the best gas mileage so I can't imagine that's a good thing. Yeah the ride quality in these is fantastic. The seats are comfortable. There's no doubt that these will be a future classic. It's kind of already got a cult following. They're just so good at what they do. They are, they really are. I mean, these pretty much have similar capability to them as the Wrangler, but they're just so much more refined and livable. Manual transmission is fun. I do have a little light that tells me when to upshift. Which feels strangely high tech in something like this. Another part of this era would have shift lights, not for like red line. Yeah, that's that's kind of what that's this what is. is. Yep. A 
no idea what RPM I'm at, but maybe it comes on at like two grand or something. It's really smooth. Yeah, this smells like a new car. It's amazing. Just amazing. I've always loved the way these things drive. They're slow, they're just very normal, but they're still they still manage to be engaging. This has got to be one of those cars that was just only summer driven or driven somewhere where there are no winters. Highway miles. Back in the day though, you think people thought this was going to be like a future classic? It was just a normal Jeep. Yeah, I mean, no, probably not in the time, no. Kind of like how Tri-5 Chevys, like that was just like today's Taurus. Yeah, exactly. Obviously that one took a little bit longer to get some type of following. But... I think though someday you'll probably see one of these up on Bring a Trailer for like you know, that Honda Civic that went recently for fifty thousand dollars. It's got 190 horsepower. Yeah. I feel like that was a considerable amount for 98. I mean all the power is in the low end, but it's it's just all torque. Yeah, for something like this back then that that was pretty healthy. It's a four liter in line six. <laughs> yeah. Overbuilt, underpowered, and as a result, very reliable. There was another one that just passed us. Rust coming out of the door handles. <laughs> Yeah. I can dig them. They're stout, they're healthy, they're balanced. Maybe not an inline five, but an inline six has a an inherent level of balance to it that V6s struggle with. And inline engines, they just have a unique noise. Oh yeah. Sorry, California T. Hey, there we go. Lots of cool stuff that comes out of the woodwork on Woodward. pedal feels as firm as could be. This thing it literally feels like you're driving a brand new car. This five speed doesn't like to be rushed.
shift light is pretty insistent. I really enjoy this. Yeah, this, this is wonderful. Slots for your CDs. Yep. This is the base model though, so it may have only had a tape player. In the late 90s, early 2000s? Tapes too. <laughs> yeah, CDs were kind of a big deal. Remember you hit a big bump the CD would skip? <laughs> yeah. Now I just use the CD slot as a place to mount my phone. All right, guys. Well, there you go. 98 Cherokee Super Mint. You cherry. Can yeah, Cherry Cherokee. <laughs> you guys can snap one of these up. The manual transmission is fun to drive. They're getting harder and harder to find in this type of condition, but I'm sure in some of the uh, states that are out of the rust belt, it's not too difficult. Big thanks to Platinum Motor Cars for uh, letting us drive a few vehicles in their inventory today. It's definitely been a pleasure and a, uh, a varied experience between the four liter Cherokee and the four liter GT3. And uh, the Bronco was pretty fun too. All right guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then. Until then what? Until then. I don't know, I'm trying to get out of the seatbelt. There we go. Matching WeatherTech floor mats. All it needs is just a little bit of Meguiar's back to black. I used to put shoe polish on my, uh, <laughs> my Volvo, Volvo 850 and it made it look like new. Man, this is just a beauty. Awesome ground clearance though, fantastic approach and departure angles. Simple, cheap to fix. The term, they don't make them like they used to, comes to mind. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.